I started playing cricket, I think I was about eight, in an under nine boys team. I think because cricket is such a structured sport, it suited the way I was. There wasn't really many girls teams around at the time, so cricket wasn't as popular for women. There wasn't many professionals, so less people played it. I was having a lot of trouble, so I was struggling to be part of that really competitive environment where there was a lot of pressure. I always felt something was different and I couldn't understand why. When I went to secondary school, a lot of people kind of developed more and I was behind a little bit. I just didn't understand a lot of the social nuances that come with that kind of environment. I ended up really anxious and depressed and that lasted quite a long time. I was very angry at a lot of things. There was no reason for me to ask for help because what were the people helping me for? I think it just kind of came to a boiling point. I was diagnosed with autism when I was 20. It was an explanation. You can advocate for yourself because you've got a rational reason for it. it completely changed my life. I was obviously eligible to play disability cricket. Whilst I was still at uni, they set up the first Women's Disability Premier League. I did my level two coaching qualification. Part of my timetable was to coach Super Ones. And then when I moved back home, I thought to myself, I kind of want to stay involved. Richard, who runs the Vista Super Ones, was actually my coach. When I played for Oxfordshire, I dropped him a message and I said, look, I'm back and I'd just like to volunteer. And he said, yeah, absolutely. The effect that she's had on the Super Ones programme, especially at Vista, is tremendous. One person at a time for Being in that kind of environment, you don't have to pretend to be someone else to fit in because everyone's in the same boat and I think that's quite nice to be able to just take that pressure off yourself. Right guys, does everyone want to come over? In all honesty, I thought that Lucy would come for a little period, but she took to it excellently. It brings you joy, so why wouldn't you want to keep doing it? Ready, Toby? Three, two, one, go! She's got a real empathy because she's been through that experience. She's empowering other young people in the way she puts herself forward the way she talks to them, the way she encourages them. These kind of things don't run without people providing that space to do so. It's nice to be able to provide something that I didn't have. I think I've had such a range of experiences and phases of my life that I've been through. When it comes to coaching, I've just tried to be understanding to other people because I know how it feels. Well done. As an England cricketer, we should be promoting disability sessions and the Super 1 sessions. That opportunity to go and play in a team that has like-minded people, it makes it so much easier to carry on. It's really important they've got someone to look up to and understand, I think, for them to be like, they managed to achieve that, so maybe I could too. We're looking more at employability, at workshops that give kids the opportunity to progress. That experience that she can give to our kids, well, you can't put a value on it, really. You know, as a woman in my sport, those opportunities need to be equal and it's so exciting to hear that that's finally happening. The disability game in general has got so much bigger. Whilst it's already growing nicely, it'd be great to have the same opportunities as the men's disability does as well. So international squads, that's not going to come without more players. All you can ask for is, is the same opportunity really. Probably.